Welcome everyone. Um, this video will just be a brief uh, status update on where I am on this jumper account. I believe we are now looking at a 45, 46 days of uh, total logins. So still actually, yeah, you might consider it quite far developed, but we're still uh, looking at a three months uh, more of uh, jump development before we're going to start actually grow this account on the final uh, server we're going to jump to. I've gone ahead and unlocked Zenobia as, yeah, my main account has basically turned quite dull. I've decided to uh, keep it there um, until Conquest, which is, yeah, far ahead. So there will be very limited growth for me on that one, very limited activity. So I'm actually just going to see where this jump account uh, takes me in the game. Um, with that being said, like it just only unlocked her. So yeah, we're going to start uh, just uh, digging for her in the market. Hope to see what comes out of it. Alexander got him to three stars. Very early on, still on the four star development there. Same for Hannibal. Uh, I am going to start growing Leonidas as well to see if it's actually a better early game March to use him instead of Hannibal to just go full earth at a budget. Um, yeah, basically it will be two months in on the new server before we can uh, start uh, unlocking Quinn and he's really essential to the mixed earth wind build. Also, the artifacts won't come on until later, so again, won't be that efficient to build and we'll see what we are up against in terms of uh, whales and all that on the new server. I have encouraged people to start jumpers on 241 as uh, that will be the oldest server in a group, allowing people not necessarily having to jump before this uh, Novi space portal jump, um, which I, for instance, will have to do. I will have to jump from 232 at some point uh, to not move into season two, not allowing me to jump into one of the new servers. I made a brief uh, video on that 238 was really a great server uh, to jump onto. It basically entered uh, construction in 21 days. You can already see 239 is already a worse considered server than that one. But yeah, so follow the Discord and you can see me keep on posting which servers are actually performing better and that will give us a statistical overview of how likely it is um yeah say do we actually want to jump to server that say moves into construction completes jump ne no ne ne nemesis um yeah and say 24 days or something like that so yeah follow discord and i'll keep updating new servers in there um on this one right now what i'm basically just doing mainly is farming a little bit in contention of relics getting my nodes in Right now, farming some gnome bosses, but I'm gonna actually head right into the Forbidden Zone and start training and healing some of my troops so I can get a few more diamonds, complete my personal tasks. Also, we have Throne of Supreme going on. Here, I'm just farming some gems. Again, I am just taking it slow throughout the day, making sure I can win. Because again, if you get the feeds, you don't get the 30 gems, and that's basically the whole idea we want here. We're not going to get anywhere with our rankings. Also, I'm going to take the time here to just quickly show how I progress in battle chess. Um, currently, as you can see, I'm number two on this server and it's really limited the amount of time I spent on it. I just at least do one match a day using this very simple build. And usually it works quite well. You just bait the, uh, the opponent to just use regular troops while you use yeah, Blizzard to just quickly reset the game while you have a few, um, I don't know, really, yeah, regeneration troops uh, to just grow some energy. Quickly make sure to heal that one, and you can see you will just quickly outperform your opponent if you just consistently repeat exactly what I'm doing here. Actually, like it's quite easy to perform quite well. Yeah, as you can see, I'm really not uh, paying too much attention to the health on my uh, yeah tower or whatever, the king in this game. 
for now I'm just focused on making sure I get a significant energy boost over my opponent and that will just allow me to quickly ace him as you can see we're gonna go ahead and really finish this off right now as we get a very good so this is kind of the momentum you're looking for that you just want to have enough like a significant higher energy region than your opponent um, and that's just gonna yeah steamroll this game completely now So yeah, there you have it. This is, yeah. Like you will be up against a few players who are really dedicating their time to this one, but just using this build, making sure you just maximize energy, don't be too scared of losing your health on the king. It's a very easy win every time. So I'm up at 10 consecutive wins right now. It gives me 10,000 gold and just unlock the uh, daily chess. It's, it's an easy small progress thing you can do um yeah so just a quick overview that this is the build you should just be going for very easy um apart from that not much new is happening here exploring some ruins and yeah growing the account that's uh, it for this one um but yeah subscribe i'll keep uh, updating so you can just follow along in my progression on the jumper and yeah join the discord if you're interested in uh, joining the jumper project as i mentioned quickly just uh, start the jumper as soon as uh, you see one of these videos we are looking at a three month jump window we might jump sooner we might jump later if there really are no nice prospects of the service opening in the range of 260 to 270. all right See you guys.